Hello, welcome to our server-side web application series on Zenva.com. My name is Dan Kwan, and I will be the instructor of this series in which we will build a full-stack web application from the bottom up. So this should be pretty exciting. It's going to incorporate much of the content and concepts from the previous two courses of this sequence, such as Node, Express, MongoDB, and things of that sort. We're going to take it a step further as well and add a few new features such as user authentication uh, using a package library called Passport.js which is a pretty widely used library for user authentication and maintaining um, logged in state. We're also going to create different UI for logged in users versus non-logged in users so that we can take advantage of that user authentication and the overall concept will be to create a sample store uh, where users can click on items and save them for for purchase uh, at a later date or, or even within that session. So operating kind of like a cart that you would normally experience in a store um, type web application. You're going to need a few things already installed such as uh, MongoDB and Node uh, Express uh, and Node.js of course so make sure you have those things ready to go. And the, the key idea here is to create a very simple type of what's called a CRUD application. So CRUD, C-R-U-D, which stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. So a CRUD application is pretty much the most common kind of web application you're going to see on the internet, where essentially what you're doing is, is updating, creating, and reading entities from the database. Hence the acronym CRUD, so create, read, update, delete, is in reference to entities on the database, and a web application is generally an interface through which you can do that. Uh, we're going to add a few extra things as well. For example, uh, forget password flow. So if the user forgets a password, his password, he can click on a forget password link, and it'll activate a sequence during which the user can reset their password. So that should be pretty interesting as well. And included in that will be an automated email sending system through a, through a uh, service called Mailgun. So you'll need an account on Mailgun as well, which is free. So you don't have to worry about paying for that. But this series will take all of our concepts that we've learned so far to the next step and create a, a user application, a user-based application that can actually be used by, um, by outside users. So that should be pretty exciting. So like I mentioned earlier, make sure you have certain things installed. Uh, you will need Node.js. <clears throat> so make sure you head over to nodejs.org and download the LTS version. I would recommend the LTS version on your machine rather than the current version because this, this, this current version tends to have more experimental features that may have some um, effects on the actual code. So the LTS stands for long-term stable um, or long-term support, uh, either way, uh, which basically means this is the, the current stable version on, in the ecosystem. So, And then don't forget MongoDB, so make sure you have that installed as well. We will be using a local Mongo server on this tutorial, so you will need to have that installed on your machine so you can run Mongo locally. So make sure you get, go through those prerequisites first, and, and once you have that all set up, you should be ready to go, and we will be ready to begin. So thanks for watching so far and I hope uh, you get through this tutorial and make everything work and it should be exciting.